Hey everybody, Josh with Happy Little Landscapes back again. I said when I got another sale that I would make a new boxing video, so I'll show you guys what I do in order to get these boxes, and I'm sorry for the whole camera being in the way that it is here, the angle. So, first we're gonna start out with some bubble wrap. We're gonna neatly wrap the entire edge of the painting in bubble wrap, and then I found that if you use this copper tubing uh, insulator, it's got a seam in the side of it, you can literally split it, and then wrap it around the edges of your painting, like so. Make it harder than it looks here. Now you can buy it, it's like $2 a sleeve. You can wrap it around the edges of your painting and that'll give you a nice cushion around where your box is gonna go. So as you can see, sorry about the camera, trying to hold everything from falling over. I have it, uh, I've done it on these two paintings here. Got one right on top of the other, just like that. And I've wrapped the edges in this copper tubing insulator sleeve. It's just kind of like a, like a pool noodle is what you, what I liken it to. So then we have our 18, let's see, this box is an 18 by 18 by 16, right from Lowe's. Take it, you split the edges apart along the seam and put it where the labels are facing upwards. And that way, when you fold over your box, you have a brand new box. Uh, with no labels or markings or anything on it. You can do this with any box that you find and uh, it really works out good. So now, as you can see, we've folded our box over, tape it along the edge as tightly as we can get it. And then we have these open gaps around the side. You can look down in there and see that our painting is gonna be perfectly protected with this kind of pool noodle slash foam insulator that works for copper pipes. Like I said, it's about a dollar, two dollars at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. You can find it and I find it works the best. Uh, when we're trying to protect the edges of our painting. I didn't show you guys, but I went and cut the edges where the corner, where the box bends. I went and cut those just with a pair of scissors. And that way we can fold this over and then fold our box inward and create the sides of the box. Okay, so try to make it easy to see here. We cut the edges, we folded them both over, creased them down the side so you get a nice line down the side here. And then we put tape around the entire thing over each edge. So over like this, and then once you've done that, wrap a long piece around the box, covering all those pieces that we taped up, and that way they're not gonna peel up on us. And then if you've made your creases nice and you got your tape tight enough, you have a you know box worthy of shipping out that you maybe bought, you paid a dollar seventy something for at Lowe's, got a little bit of bubble wrap, got those uh, copper tube sheathings, and bingo bango, we didn't even have to spend seven, eight, ten dollars to make this box. So what we're gonna do now is label it. I'll show you how to do that and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our box right down there. And the last thing we need is a packing slip. You give these away at UPS. They literally give them away for free. You can go in and get like 10 at a time. And it's got the sticky on the back, little baggie on the front. I like to put a couple of business cards in mine. So what we're gonna do is grab an actual business card. There we go. Got a business card, we're gonna drop it. I'm not gonna use this whole big thing. If I cut it into threes, I'll be able to use three times as many more. So I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna cut that, we'll stick it on the box, show you what it looks like, and we'll be back in a minute. We've cut our original packing slip that used to be much bigger, and then I put a piece of tape along the bottom, and that way, whatever you slide inside, it's not gonna pop back out. Then you peel the plastic off, which we already did to stick it on there initially. Peel the plastic off seal it down and that just gives you kind of a more of a professional look when you have your own little packing slip on your box. And then we're gonna write the name of the client down here in the bottom right hand corner and send it off. So as you can see, address down here on the bottom, uh, our address up here or your return address uh, or your packing slip or whatever you wanna put in there. Client's address down at the bottom, right down here. I mean, you can do this for any size box. This one behind me is much larger and we're about to start on this little smaller one here. A lot of times we're getting these deliveries from Amazon or, or wherever, you're getting boxes delivered to your house. Keep them, save them. You'll be able to use them on your, on your paintings later. So, you know, that way it's gonna save you money. You're gonna make more profit. You're not gonna have to pay so much for shipping. The more you uh, save on your shipping costs, the more you're gonna get end up making. So I hope this video was uh, helpful to everybody. If it was, click like, subscribe. Should be somewhere over here or over here, above, below maybe, down here, I don't know. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.